Good morning, everyone. Welcome to day four, the final day of EDX 2019. It's gone so quickly. It's gone so quickly this year, but we still have a very exciting day of streams coming your way. Um, I am delighted to be joined on stage this morning by Nathan from Koei Tecmo. Hello, Welcome everyone. to the stage, Thanks Nathan. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Nathan, what are you going to be showing us this morning? We're showing the new anime game we're working on, Fairy Tale, and we've got a quick trailer to show you guys before we get into it. Let's have a look. Peggy 12. Well, there's a look at the trailer, That's and but funny. now we've got actual gameplay of Fairy Tale. Ah, this is the first time we're showing it off in English, actually, worldwide. Amazing. So, yeah. So you're at the controls, Nathan. I am. So Fairy Tale takes place uh, in a magical world called the Kingdom of Fjord. And in Fjord, there's tons of magical guilds which are fighting to be the supreme number one guild. Right. And we follow the one called Fairy Tale. They're right. quite a mischievous bunch of guys. They cause a lot of destruction and damage around the world, but they're trying to fight for family and honor and to be the number one guild in this region. Uh, where this build takes place is seven years uh, after a key event in the story. Uh, they go to an island called Tenru Island, they have a big battle, and they go missing for seven years. Right. Sadly, in this time, the guild loses its fame, it goes down to the lowest rank, and they lose their guild house. And suddenly, seven years later, these guys all show up again and realize that actually they don't have their, their guild anymore. So we're going to start there. So it's up to you to build them back up. We've got to raise the bank up back to S rank, the highest rank a guild can be. So. And for people who don't know Fairy Tale, this is, this is uh, based around uh, an anime series. Yes, it's a really long running anime series. It ended in October this year, actually. Right. So it's an anime and manga by Hiro Mashima. And it's been going for about five, six years now. So it's a, it's a long running one that's right. fans have loved. It's an action kind of adventure anime. Okay. So let's go into the guild hall and have a look at uh, what's changed over the years. So you can see it's a bit run down. We've, uh, we've not got many tables. No one's really in here anymore. Yeah. Sadly, over the years, it's run down a lot. Let's go in. So these guys have been waiting for seven years. We've been assumed dead at this point. Seven years have gone by. We've just, they couldn't find our bodies, but we've been assumed dead. Right. Uh, and then we suddenly arrive one day out of the blue. So the main crew of Fairy Tale follows the uh, pink hair guy you'll see at the beginning, Natsu Dragnail. He is a fire dragon slayer magician. And this is going to be the main person you play as in the game? And you'll play as Natsu in the game, right. yes. We'll introduce some more of the guild later when we get into the battle system, because not all of the guild are going to be in this demo today. So. Right. Okay, right. So we're going to play the mission where we've got to raise our guild rank. We're rank D at the moment. We're going to try to get to rank C today and see if right, we can okay. get back a little bit up the ranks. Okay, so fans of uh, the anime might recognize some of the characters in the guild. Uh, Mira Jane is kind of the quest giver. She looks after the guild and makes sure the family are kind of looked after, everyone's happy. Right. And she looks after the request board, which uh, is where we're going to get our mission from today. Excellent. Now at the moment, there's only one kind of, one low rank mission. We're quite low downs. We're not going to get the high rank missions to go fight the dragons and these, these epic quests. Uh, we've got to get the mail. We've got to go save mail from a dark mage, right. uh, a dark mage guild. These are kind of the bad guys of the region. They don't follow the rules of the government. These guys have robbed the post office. Right. So we've got to go make sure they know what they've done and uh, go save the posts for the... Okay. Uh, so the blonde hair girl is Lucy. She's a celestial mage. She can use uh, special keys to unlock spirits from the celestial world okay. to come and support her in battle. We'll, we'll use that in battle in just a little bit. Uh, and this is Urza. She is a special re-equipped magician, so she can change her armor and weaponry at any point to become more powerful. Awesome. Okay. Right. So Urza's joined our quest for this mission. Uh, throughout the game, you'll be able to use over 10 playable characters from Fairy Tale and other guilds in the region. So the land's full of other guilds competing to be the best. Some of them will join Fairy Tale or your party, so you can make a mashup of your favorite Fairy Tale characters. Fantastic. So let's go on our quest and look at the world outside. And how would you describe fairy tale in terms of genre? Are we looking at classic JRPG here? So or? this is a turn-based JRPG uh, with very kind of classic kind of turn-based battle systems. 
So as you can see, the guild looks a bit run down right in the suburbs. Fairy Tower, when it was in its prime, was actually the center of Magnolia, the key city in the, uh, in the region. Uh, but sadly, we've been uh, kicked out of the suburbs because we couldn't pay the rent. Uh, for seven years, we've had no money, we've had no prosperity, so we couldn't look after the original town building. Okay. So as you can see, the fairy tower, uh, the logo is kind of falling off the guild right now. It's kind of just, just being held up. Right, so let's go off. So you can pick up items throughout the world. This will let you upgrade certain magic, certain equipment. Sadly, in this build, we don't have any of that to show just yet. It's right. still an early in-development build, this one. Okay. So the town of Magnolia has actually been built for the first time in 3D. It's in the anime and the manga, but you never really quite see the entire of Magnolia. Uh, so we can kind of walk along, go around the canal. We're going to go check out the old fairy tale guild and have a look at what it used to look like. It looks absolutely beautiful. It's and really, really nice. I assume that uh, fans of the, the anime and the manga, there'll be lots of little, little yeah. Easter eggs and, and, and things they're going to be very excited to see. But for be people who aren't familiar with the anime and manga, mm. would you say this is a game they can still jump into and enjoy? Yeah, you definitely can jump in. And it starts about halfway through the anime series, but fret not, you can actually catch up and learn little bits about what happened, how the characters came to be how their relationships grew before this point. Right. So everyone can learn from Fairy Tale from this game. Which Great. Is awesome. Uh, fans might recognize this house. It's uh, Lucy's house. Sadly, because it's been seven years, she couldn't pay rent for seven years. Right. So we've been kicked out of the house. We can't go in just yet. But this will be one of the many places you can go visit. What have they all been doing for seven years? So they actually, in the anime series, they, uh, they just were magically kind of kept in stasis for seven years. Right. Um, and yeah, they vanished, vanished away. So this is the old fairy tale guild, as you can see, a lot more kind of uh, prestigious yes. than uh, the one we have at the moment. Uh, we're actually being guarded out of the build. We can't get inside anymore. Right. So we need to get our rank up, get some money, and hopefully we can get back to uh, get back into the guild. Uh, and the famous cathedral, which generally goes to a lot of destruction when the magic guilds are fighting, is also present in the series. Right. Anyway, let's make it to one of the first areas we need to go to, which is the uh, the Great Plains, where we're going to go save uh, the post from the Dark Guild. Nice. So you'll have a world map where you can choose certain locations for your mission. Today we only have access to the Great Plains where our mission is going right. to take place. But you'll be able to explore the entire of the region as you go around and do quests. And you can customize your own party. So you will be able to choose which magicians you want to take out and put in your party. For and this. how many characters can you have in your party? Uh, you can have, I believe it's five at a time. Oh. Five, yes. Wow. OK, so let's get into battle. You go behind us. So like in JRPGs, you can press the attack button, which is square on PlayStation, to get a bit of a chance to go first in battle. Right. Battle start. I didn't actually do it in time. We'll do that next time. Okay. <laughs> okay. So the five characters we have today are Wendy Marvel. She is a dragon slayer as well. She uses wind and air magic. Uh, she's also quite a good healer, so she can support you in battle with health as well. Right. So we're going to use one of her abilities, the Sky Dragon Claw. As you can see, it's a, kind of a grid system on the screen. Uh, in battle, enemies are positioned on this 3x3 three three grid. I you want to tactically use your magic. So this one has two, and we can place that perfectly over oh, the enemy to get in. <laughs> so the series is known for its really epic magic attacks. So you're going to see a lot of that from the different characters. Right. Uh, this is Lucy. She is the Celestial Mage. We'll use her uh, summoning ability in just a little bit when we've got a bit more strategy we can use that with. And will enemies move around this grid during the battle? Uh, so they stay in a specific grid in this right. battle, at least, yeah. So Natsu's the main guy, uses fire magic. You saw him in the trailer kind of do his epic magic punch. Nice. Okay, so that's the first look at it. We're going to get a bit more kind of tougher enemies coming up. So it's a nice introduction for me to ease into this morning. I was going to say, it looked like you were tested there, Nate. Yeah, I was getting a bit... Just got through it. <laughs> it's good. It's a bit tense. So as you can see, we rank up as a level and our, our kind of a guild rank overall. Right. And we're constantly working towards getting this guild back up to the S rank. Uh, so the story will follow kind of the three main arcs. Uh, the Tenru Island arc, which is where we started off seven years later after that. Uh, then the Grand Magic Games arc and Tartarus arcs. These are kind of three really big pivotal story points in Fairy Tale. Right. Full of action, full of magic, dragons, flying cats, all the kind of awesome Amazing. tropes you like to see in anime. So you got your preemptive attack spots on. Yes, there. I got it right this time. I'm really impressed. I didn't even see the screen when I did it. That's really sad. <laughs> OK, right. Let's get that one. Right. Let's hope we don't get beaten here. I noticed there's uh, two numbers coming up when you're being attacked there. One in white and one in green. What, is, what does that mean? Yes, so one of them is actually a healing kind of... One heals the enemy. Oh, so the enemy's healing itself yeah. as it attacks you, I see. It's dangerous. So for Lucy, we're going to use the summon ability now. Using her celestial key, we're going to summon Scorpio. 
Uh, Scrubbier is one of the spirits which uses sand attacks to take it down. Okay. Right, let's defend us now so we can see some of the other characters because they're kind of hidden away in the back of the cart at the moment. So Urza has the ability to re-equip. So, let's use this one here. She uses her really cool Titania armor nice. to wipe out foes in seconds, which is really cool. And as you can see, we're getting health and MP yes. after every attack, which is really good. Uh, and Gray is an ice mage, so he can uh, make things with ice and use them in battle. Oh, fantastic. So we're going to use the ice make hammer nice. to wipe away an enemy. Nicely done. Nice. Right, let's dispose of this one. Use a Lucy kit to go through. Perfect. And as you level up, you're going to be unlocking different magic abilities for the party. So you start off with a few kind of weak ones, and these will constantly progress upwards to fill more of the grid or to kind of perform different boosting abilities for the party. Right. Okay, you leveled up to level two. That's perfect. Right. And some new magic. So we can go test this out now on the field. Cool. So we've been filling up a gauge in the bottom right side of the screen you might have been seeing called the Fairy Gauge. Now this lets us do a really over-the-top epic ma uh, kind of magic ability. I hope we're going to so see we're, we're building up to this now. <laughs> I'm going to quickly go get this treasure chest from this guy, though, before we go and fight the, the bigger tough guys. So there'll be different treasure troves over the land you can go get different right. items from. Uh, Lacrima is a certain crystal in the series, and this levels up magic. So you can use this to kind of custom your character's abilities. Sadly, we can't show off in the build today. But this is what you kind of find across the field. You need to be making sure you search for these in the game. Okay. Okay, let's use some new magic. Okay, we're going to heal one of the characters. They look a bit weak at the moment. Nice. They don't want to leave us alone today. Okay. <coughs> okay. So another one of Lucy's abilities, which will heal us again, is uh, her little buddy, Nikora. This is like a little snowman plushie she gets. You okay. thought, in the series, thought it was kind of like a useless character until they realized <laughs> they could do a little bit more. Okay. <laughs> yeah, when you said summon snowman, that, that, wasn't, that wasn't what I was picturing. <laughs> An adorable little snowman yeah. coming to save the day. OK, I think we can use Natsu's epic ability here. A fire Dragon Roar. Okay, we've just unlocked the magic Looks like the your fairy tale is ready to go. Your fairy. We're going to use it on the okay. next battle, just for now. Try up a few more attacks first. So you can keep it there and it rolls over to the next battle. It'll stay in the next battle, right. yeah. So you can decide if you want to save it for like a lower level fight or use it for a bigger one. It will take out the entire grid. Right. So you want to use Amazing. it strategically. Sure. Okay. Nice to make it. It's really important to make sure you use the grid strategically because you've obviously got a limited MP which you want to make sure you're conserving throughout battle. Yeah. Oh, uh, we've got a new ability for Lucy. Nice. Like with your kind of typical JRPGs, we have the, uh, the weaknesses uh, of certain enemies can be manipulated, so they might be weak to fire, to wind magic, and we can use that to our advantage in battle. Sure. And it will let you know that actually on the, the option select what attacks are going to be weak and strong against certain enemies. Okay, oh, they're confused. We get an extra attack in there. Perfect. Right, let's go face some tougher enemies now. I think okay. we've, I've had a bit of a warm-up now. We can go fight some tougher ones. Hopefully we get some new magic. We should. There we go. Not just yet. Maybe in the next battle. Okay. Get our treasure chest. We've got a grade one lacrima. It's one of the weaker lacrimas, but we can get more powerful ones as we go through the game. And here's our quest marker. There'll be a variety of cutscenes uh, throughout the story, which uh, will kind of progress the narrative along. As you can see, the blue cat is uh, the partner of Natsu. He's a flying exceed as the species, but they're, right. they're flying cats. A talking flying cat, which loves to eat fish. Called Happy. Cool. So, <laughs> it's one of the good guys. <laughs> okay, right, let's go get these guys. They do not want to be beat up today. Oh, they're running away. We're going to make sure they get, they get their punishment for stealing the post today. Right. Oh, there's lots of them. Okay, cool. There's a lot more of these. I see why you saved your, your special <laughs> tag now, yeah. So we filled up our fairy gauge. You can see the R1 over the fairy tale logo in the bottom right of the screen. If we press this, we can use a magic chain attack where all of our mages come together to do a powerful attack. I'm looking forward to this. Whole grid is going to go out now. So let's start with Wendy. 
you do get a bit of time to decide if you want to finish with a character or keep using a weak chain to level up that chain for the map. Keep going in. And we're going to finish off with Urza. And the finish is his ultimate attack, which will wipe out every single last person there. Wow, out. that was incredibly satisfying. Nice. This is still in development. It will look a little different in the final game. But Fairy Tale is all about the characters coming together with their bonds and their friendships to use these ultimate attacks. Right. And this is really what uh, the, the devs are working on, and they're working with the author Hiro Mashima of the series to really make sure this feels right for a Fairy Tale game. Amazing. Nice. Right, we've used our fairy gauge here, so we are going to have to attack the next lot of uh, dark mages. Their traditional old way. Where have they gone? There we go. Now, these guys are a lot tougher. They do have more HP, so we're going to have to use more strategic planning of the grid to make sure we can wipe them out. You feeling confident? I am, a little bit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> these guys are really powerful. I'm sure they've got it in them. Okay, what's the grid looking like? we use some sky dragon magic. As you can see, they don't take that too lightly uh, compared to the other enemies, which wiped out quite fast. So while certain missions will require you to have specific characters, you can fully customize your party to be kind of your dream team in Fairy Tale. Right. Go, Dragon Roar. I see what you mean. They do have a lot of health, nice. these guys. They do. They're a lot tougher than the guys we were taking out earlier. Oh, actually, we can use the ice guys at this time. We've also just announced actually on Thursday two other fairy tale members coming into the game, which sadly aren't in the build today. But uh, Kajil and Juvia, these are iron okay. and water magicians. You've got loads of different elements you can actually be using within battle to really take out enemies. And can you swap party members at any point in the game, or do you certain like... missions will require certain characters, but others you can fully choose who you wish to be on your party. Awesome. Well, we've just unlocked the uh, the ability again, actually, to wipe out our characters. So as you, as you progress through the game, would you, would you say it's a good idea to keep, keep swapping characters around to make sure they're all leveling up and all growing? Yeah, you want to make sure they're all leveled up. Obviously, you're going to have your favorites, so if you want to keep them in the party, just make sure the other guys are kind of being leveled up throughout the game. The good thing with Fairy Tales is the characters are so unique and different. Everyone's got a favorite they can really easily bring into the party, like players, which is good. All right, let's take out this guy with a traditional attack. We can save our magic gauge one more time for one more battle. Nice. Okay. Perfect. So all uh, magic abilities aren't just attack. They can also be defensive. As we see here, we've got the ice shield and armor. So these things are going to be kind of stat boost to make sure we're protected in battle. Nice. Okay, there's one more battle left before we're going to have to go return our quest marker. Okay, so they've got the mail back safe. The Dark Guild has been told off. They've, they've learned their lesson this time by uh, being... Uh, Hit by fire, I guess. <laughs> for, the, for the great fairy tale crew. Okay, nice. So we done it. We got the mail back to the Great Plains. Job done. Nice. So I need to find our way back. So we're just gonna go. We're gonna go this way. We'll go the quicker way back. And we'll quickly show you how the level up system works with the guild. Right. We've, we've got a quest marker which we can give back now. So let's walk around. So there'll be a ton of different environments. It won't just be kind of grassy fields. Everything from like kind of hot lava areas to other. That's towns. the rule. That's the rule. There's got to be a there's got to be a lava area. How it should be, is right? Is there a snow area? There is. Yeah. Good. There's a variety <laughs> of different locations in fairy tales, so there's tons to choose from. <laughs> yeah, you got a little uh, mini loading game thing which you can play and use happy to be using a fish to hit the loading text out of the way. I do appreciate loading screens <laughs> that they're amazing. That are entertaining. Yes. Okay, we're gonna fast travel back, and we're gonna go to the guild hall. Okay, so Mira Jane is our kind of quest keeper, so we're gonna go to her and submit the request. Perfect. So we get some money for that, which helps us uh, progress the guild. And Fairy Tales always got these kind of good messages about family, honor, and righteousness. And you'll see this throughout kind of quests. Like Lucy's obviously making a note that male's really important for everyone. We want to make sure that the world can be connected together. And these values run throughout the whole of Fairy Tale, even in the over the top epic dragon fights down to saving postmen right. from losing their posts. And Happy loves fish, so Happy always wants fish in the post. 
Epic, so now we've unlocked Urza to join our team in future quests, and you'll unlock them throughout the story in the game. Nice. So, we've gone from rank 101 up to 99. So just a little bit. We've gone to nice. rank C. We're up another rank. We're in the rank. top 100 now. We are. So that's good. There we're we're go. going up there. So this character here is Mavish. She's actually the original guild leader back in the day, right before right. Fairy Tail properly became a guild. And she's watching over us just to make sure that we're doing our job properly. That was, that was Fairy Tail. It's the first look at the game uh, before it comes out in 2020. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much, Nathan, for taking us through that. Thank you for it, having us today. It looks absolutely beautiful. I do love a good classic turn-based JRPG. Yeah. Um, and it's coming out, you say, in uh, 2020? 2020, yes. Yeah, so you can get hands-on next year. We're also going to be at Paris Games Week in just about a week and a half now. So if anyone's lucky enough to be out there, do come and play the game for the first time worldwide. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Nathan. Thank you very much for watching, everyone in the audience. Please stick around because in about five minutes time, oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you <everyone. laughs> in about five minutes time, uh, Dave is going to be coming out on stage attempting to earn his first ever platinum trophy. Um, and then throughout the rest of the day, we've got some fantastic stuff coming up. We've got more dreams on the stage. Nathan's going to be playing some Neo 2. We've got more FIFA 20 later on. Um, enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. We'll see you very soon. For the players.